What is depression? To answer this question, and to put an accurate definition of depression, we will not. We deny what is mentioned in medical references and books in which specialists put definitions, lengthy and formulated in the form of phrases and terms that, in turn, need someone to do it, by explaining and explaining it. When we talk about depression we are talking about something that Clay knows people well, but if we try to put a specific scientific definition, then in this case we do understand it. If someone asks you, it complicates things as we use hard words and jargon. Dear reader, what is water? The answer will be difficult if you try to formulate it in a specific definition picture, but all people know water and they all drank from it. And these words, it also applies to the definition of depression. Depression is considered one of the most widespread psychological phenomena, and we can say that any one of us may be possessed at some point in time by a feeling of sadness or distress, or that we feel, sometimes with a disorder that prevents us from practicing the usual activities of life such as work and eating, sleeping and visiting friends. All these signs are often signs of depression, psychological, however, there is a common mistake that we all make when we expect that the person who is suffering from depression, we must clearly show signs of sadness and deep sorrow, for all, and if this is not the case, the general public does not realize that the person suffers from depression, and this applies to doctors as well, because everyone expects it to be, the repressed patient is in a state of obvious sadness, but the reality reality is that the appearance of sadness is alone. It is not evidence of depression or synonymous with the presence of this disease all the time, but depression has other manifestations and signs that will be dealt with in detail later. Between depression and happiness, there is an attempt to define depression through its opposite, which is happiness. Happiness is a feeling of satisfaction, and this feeling includes satisfaction with oneself and for life, but the absence of this feeling may be the appropriate description of depression, but this emotions are natural human emotions, meaning that each of us must be at some point in time. At times one may feel relieved and satisfied happiness, or, on the contrary, feel resentment and lack of joy, satisfaction, and this last feeling is not evidence of depression in a pathological condition, but it is one of the usual human feelings. In this book, dear reader, you will find a description of one of the cases, the pathological psychological that combines the thing in its opposite, and it is called, the taint of fun and conformity. In this case, the patient sometimes suffers from severe depression, with sadness, isolation, dissatisfaction with life, and thoughts of suicide, and this continues for a while, a period ranging from several weeks to several months. Then the same patient suffers from a condition, rather, it is the the exact opposite of this situation, where he feels an overwhelming feeling of happiness, and abundance, activity, love of life and a penchant for fun, and this condition continues in a fit similar to the bout, previous in duration, and this pathological condition is an example of the existence of two, contradictory cases, the same patient goes through them, and perhaps there is clarity in this comparison between the feeling of depression and depression, the situation is quite contrasting with that. The term depression, the term, and depression, is used widely in the language, English and other foreign languages to express psychological distress, and some, other meanings on different occasions. In economics, this term denotes, on recession and downturn in financial transactions, and in meteorology is an expression, about the state of the weather, and it means the occurrence of an atmospheric depression, and in physiology it is, an expression of a decrease in the functions of some vital organs. As for psychiatry, and this is our topic, the term depression has more meaning, but despite the lack of similarity between them, in all cases it revolves around the same concept. Frustration may be one of the usual mood swings in response to a situation we encounter in our lives. It calls for a feeling of sadness and grief, such as the separation of a friend or financial loss, and it may be depression sometimes accompanies infection with any other disease. For example, a patient with the flu, we do not expect he should be in a good psychological state, and he often feels depressed because of this disease. This condition is secondary depression as a result of another condition that caused this 
feeling, and on me. For example, there is a saying that, every patient is depressed, and this speech has a large share of it, health, because infection with any disease is something that leads to a feeling of depression. The most important thing for depression is to describe it as one of the well-known mental illnesses, and it is characterized by the presence of manifestations. Psychological and physical symptoms will be discussed in detail later. Depression in the world today. The last period of the second half of the 20th century witnessed an exponential increase in the spread of depression disease all over the world, and the latest statistics say that it was issued by the World Health Organization that approximately 7 to 10 of the world's population, they suffer from depression, and this means that there are hundreds of millions of people suffering as a result to contract this disease, and this is sufficient as further evidence that the world today is living in an age depression, and perhaps the most eloquent expression of this fact is the saying of Melanie Klein, one of the scholars, the self that the suffering caused to humanity from the effects of psychological depression outweighs that of it resulted from the rest of the other diseases combined. There is another evidence that the world today is living in an era of depression, which is what was reported in the statistics of the World Health Organization about the number of people who apply to suicide every year, and this number reaches 800,000 people in the world annually, and this represents the main burden of depression because suicide occurs as a direct result of injury, depressive disease when a person reaches the stage of despair, and there is something that pushes me, believing that the prevalence of depression far exceeds all figures mentioned by health authorities. Different, there is an established fact that for every severe or moderate case of depression is diagnosed and identified. There are many other cases that remain unknown. No one has anything about it, and this has been proven through field studies, some of which confirmed that approximately of the 80 patients with depression, they do not go to doctors, and their condition is not discovered, even though they suffer from depression burdens of depression. There are economic, social and health burdens of depression as well, psychological suffering, and the despair that sometimes costs a person his life. He thinks of getting rid of this suffering by putting an end to his life by committing suicide and getting sick. Depression is one of the conditions that most affect productivity at work and consumption, medical services, and the depression patient negatively affects his family members, and extends. Its effect is on those around him him from work colleagues and friends, and it represents care for a disease. Depression is a real problem for the patient, his family, the attending physician, and society in general. Depression is linked to a series of other problems. On the one hand, the relationship of depression has been proven to have a negative impact on the body's immunity, which paves the way, the path to infection with other diseases such as cancer, cardiovascular disease, and another set of well-known diseases of the age. And from an economic point of view, the effect depression affects the patient's life by preventing him from practicing his usual illness or earning a living, and it leads to family problems that affect the patient and those around him. And from a social point of view, the isolation imposed by depression leads to severing the connection between the patient and the patient, people around him, and his lack of participation in social life, and everyone considers him a burden on them, where he cannot help himself or those who care for them, and all of these represent the cost that it arises from the disease of depression, in addition to the suffering and feelings of hopelessness that it represents a huge burden that no one can imagine except for those who are already going through this experience. Signs describing this current era in which the world is living today is, and from age of depression there are reasons to predict an increase in the number of depressed patients. The passage of time in light of the rapid cultural developments and the changing social environment and the conflicts and wars that prevail in many parts of the world that leads to a loss of stability lack of a sense of security and social disintegration, and all of this, it paves the way for more cases of psychological depression, which leads to an exacerbation of the problem. Depression with time, despite all the efforts made to confront this problem, 
which did not work, until now, the means of civilization and the provision of means of care have not succeeded in, containing it, health and the innovation of modern medicines except in increasing the average life of a, person, but all of you, it did not contribute to reducing the spread of mental depression in this era.